Hey, Brian. Happy birthday, man. The big 4-0. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But what's going on here is that Kristen and Jane have commissioned me to deliver the official birthday greetings, especially Jane, who you have already indoctrinated into drive-in mutanthood by teaching her what a Joe Bob video is. Um, can cannibal Holocaust be far behind? Let's hope not. Don't do that. Don't go there, Brian. Uh, so I've been talking to Kristen and she told me all about your various obsessions, horror, comic books, old wrestling history. You're from Louisiana, so you may be aware of this, but you're, you're probably too young. Um, I used to hang out with three wrestlers known as the fabulous Freebirds, and they were generally brought in to start trouble with the Von Erich family at the Dallas Sportatorium. I think the franchise was called World Championship Wrestling. They changed the names a few times, but don't quote me on that. The leader of the Freebirds was Michael Hayes, and his colleagues were Buddy Roberts and Bam Bam. I don't remember Bam Bam's real name, but um, he was the flamethrower of the group. He would headbutt people just for fun. Um, anyway, these guys loved to party, so when they were in town, we would go to bars together, and um, anyway, I think they, to uh, they tore the sportatorium down after uh, Fritz Von Erich died. All the wrestling now is in your state, Florida, both AEW and WWE, but you already know that. Okay, Brian, I do this thing called drive-in astrology, and I'm about to do it on you and tell you why you came out the way you did. Your birth year, 1982, was truly an amazing year for horror. You didn't realize it because you were busy being born. But first of all, that was the first year of Joe Bob Goes to the Drive-In, the year I started reviewing movies, meaning reviews are available for your entire lifetime. You need to get started right now memorizing those things. But listen to this list of the movies that came out in 1982. Basket Case, the classic. Two Siamese twin brothers, one of them looks like a squashed octopus, lives in a basket, the other brother hauls him around Times Square. You've seen it, we've all seen it. The Beast Within, very underrated. The only movie ever made with graphic giant Katie did rape. Amityville 2, The Possession, the really strange one in the series with Burt Young as the sadistic father. Um, Alone in the Dark, also underrated. All-star cast, Jack Palance, Donald Pleasance, Martin Landau, one of the very first films ever made by New Line Cinema. Uh, cat people, people debate, which is better, the 1942 cat people or the 1982? Nastasha Kinski is in the 1982. Hello, um, creep show. Everybody remembers Stephen King in that, but do you remember that Adrian Barbeau and her two enormous talents were also in that movie? Forbidden World, original title Mutant. Uh, Friday the 13th 3D, the first film where Jason used the hockey mask. House on Sorority Row, Kate McNeil was that actress. Whatever happened to Kate McNeil? House Where Evil Dwells, one of the few haunted house flicks with a lot of nudity in it. Um, the last horror film with Joe Spinell, the original Parasite with Demi Moore, New York Ripper, Lucio Fulci film, Pieces, <laughs> Poltergeist, Toby Hooper's second best film, uh, Madman, I would sing the Madman Mars theme song, but nobody wants to hear that again. Uh, Slumber Party Massacre, A Stranger is Watching, Dario Argento's Tenebrae, John Carpenter's The Thing, Visiting Hours, Manhattan Baby, another Fulci film. What do you notice about those films? Pure horror, not comedy, not elevated horror, down and dirty horror, very few sequels, no remakes, the year when people were making original movies. So if you ever want to blow one out on your birthday, have a 1982 horror marathon and you will be amazed. And that's what you should do this year, Brian, because you're a drive-in mutant now and you're a role model for a two-year-old drive-in mutant. That means you need to party like a jungle animal, like it says in the drive-in oath. That's a requirement. That's not negotiable. So have a great one, man. Enjoy your day. You've got a lot of love surrounding you, man. So happy birthday, Brian.